You haven't been in a, a college football game in a, in a few years now. Have you, have you kind of thought about how, how long it's been, and are, are you are you pretty eager to get back out there and, and, and be, be in a game setting? Yeah, you know, a few, it's, it hadn't been a few. I think a few is three. You know, is it, <laughs> a couple. Uh, I set out one year. Right. You yeah, know, and, yeah. and so, but anyway, uh, there's no doubt. I'm excited to get going again, and and uh, uh, you know, the good thing is I had a great staff. Uh, the guys here have been real helpful, and, and uh, I think we prepared well, and, and uh, we're all on the same page, and so. Uh, yeah, to be in that team atmosphere on game day is, is, is a blast. I'm looking forward to it. How, how long into your I guess, hiatus did, did you kind of know that you wanted to get back into it right away? Well, I knew right away I was going to get back into it, you know, but I just think it's the first thing as the head coach, my job was to get all the assistance jobs, you know, is that uh, it's that thing, you know, when head coaches get fired, you know, everybody cries about it, but they, they shouldn't. They're, those guys get money, you know, it's, it's the assistants got to go out and find jobs. And so, uh, you know, I spent all my time finding the jobs for the assistants, and then after that, I visit with a few people and decide to sit out. You see anything else on tape from the Wyoming offense that kind of surprised you, or uh, that you guys weren't expected for? Uh, no, nope. Craig's pretty, pretty straightforward what he does. What do, you, what do you make of their running back, Evan? He had a big game. What, what, what does he do that, that stands out? Well, I just think, one, you got a senior there who all of a sudden decided that uh, he wanted to be the man. And, and, you know, it's amazing on all football teams, it seems like each year there's one or two seniors that maybe haven't played a lot or, you know, and then all of a sudden they decide they want to get something done. And, and uh, uh, you know, I'm busy with our seniors on defense. You watch and the teams are successful each year, their seniors play well. Their senior step up and make plays, and and obviously from the first game he did. Who who on, who, in, who in your group has, has maybe grown the most from the time that you got here until now? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Skyler, I think, really has in the secondary. You know, I, I think he's done a nice job at safety at, at working at it and getting better and better. What do, you, what do you kind of make of the depth of, of your D-line right now, kind of with, with some attrition that you guys have faced this month? Do you feel, feel like you guys are in pretty good shape? Well, I still? still think we got enough. You know? It's one of the advantages of only playing three. I mean, it really is. And, you know, four-man line, yeah, I'd, I'd be a little bit nervous. But, uh, but uh, you know, the, the other thing is the injuries are a part of the game. And, and uh, the kids we got there worked hard, and so we'll line up and play with them. And how has Dom Civil's transition to, to the nickel spot? Uh, Ken Wilson talked to us about the other day. Yeah, or Coach Brock actually. Yeah, is that uh, he's he's done well. You know, of course, he's a natural athlete, and and uh, the game comes pretty natural to him. And, and um, you know, that's one spot we had to we definitely had to make a change. But I can tell you, if Dom had to go in there and play a few snaps of linebackers, that uh, he could do do that too. He's a good football player.